Lesson 3 is unit conversion. We're going to convert in the English or British system, and then we're going to convert in the metric system. So here we go. Um, these are the conversion factors that we need for the whole piece of the English system. So we're going to use fractions to convert. So we're going to convert 2 miles to feet. Well, what we do is we do 2 miles, and then there's 5,280 feet in 1 mile. So these miles will effectively cancel, and then we'll multiply 2 times 5,280 and get 10,560 feet divided by 1, which is the result right there. Now occasionally we're going to have to use more than one fraction to help us complete the conversion. Next slide. Now we're going to do the following. 3 feet equals how many inches? So we start off with 3 feet. I'm going to multiply it. I want to get rid of feet, so I'm going to put it on the bottom. And I want to convert to inches. There's 12 inches in one foot. So the feet will cancel. So we're just left with inches right here, and 3 times 12 is 36 inches. Let's do the next one. 18 yards to feet. So 18 yards. Now I want yards to go, so he's going to go on the bottom, and feet's going to go on the top. There are 3 feet in 1 yard. So the yards will effectively cancel out, dividing out to get 1. So 54 feet because 18 times 3 is 54. The next one is 3,520 yards to miles. Now we don't have a conversion listed from yards to miles in the page before, so I'm going to kind of take you a little bit around the barn on this one. So 3, 5, 2, 0 yards. We only know how many feet are in a mile. So I'm going to convert the yards to feet first. There's um, three feet and one yard. And then what I want to do is I want to get rid of the feet. So I want to convert that to miles. So there's 5,280 feet in one mile. So you're like, oh, there's numbers on the bottom. Don't panic. So the yards are going to go. The feet are going to go. If I multiply the tops together, I'll get 10,560 all over 5,280. The only unit is left. It's miles on the top. When I divide these two numbers out, I get 2 miles. Okay, we'll try another big one like that in a second. D, 13 yards equals how many feet? Well, 13 yards. What do I want to get rid of? Answer, the yards. So I put the yards on the bottom, feet on the top. There's three feet and one yard. The yards are going to divide out, and I get 39 feet. It's important to label all these. And last but not least, one mile into inches. So we start off with a mile. We're going to go to inches, but we only know the mile conversion to feet. So we want to get rid of miles. So mile guy goes on the bottom, feet on the top. 5,280 feet in one mile. Now we're in feet, right? I want to get rid of feet and make it inches. So there's 12 inches in one foot. Okay, so super fantastic. I'm going to multiply 5,280 times 12, and I get 6, 3, 3, 6, 0 inches. Okay, you can use your calculator on this. A lot of big numbers. Next slide. Let's take a look at the conversion for metric and give you all these uh, relationships between kilometers and meters. Then 
hectometers and meters, decameters and meters, so that you know uh, in relationship with a meter, which is about a little bit longer than a yard, maybe about four inches longer than a yard, like from the tip of your nose to the, if you extend your arm out, to the tip of your middle finger. But the beauty of metric is it's all in base 10, and all we have to do is move the decimal point. So I love this chart right here. Okay, so let's do it. 62.4 hectometers, so I'm right here. And it wants me to go to meters, so I'm going to move wah, wah, to 2 meters, which is 2 places to the right. So I'm going to move the decimal 2 places to the right. 1, 2. So it's 62.40 meters. Cool? Done. Let's do the next one. 2.98 meters, and we're going to go to centimeters. So I'm going to just erase this piece so that you have it. And we're starting at meters, and we're going to centimeters. So we're going to start here and move over to 2. So we're going to go 2 to the right. So 298. I have to move it 2 to the right, so I will get 298 centimeters. The last example, we want to convert centimeters to kilometers. So we have 2,200,000 centimeters. Decimals at the end. We want to convert it to kilometers. So we're going from centimeters to kilometers. And I'll do it on the top here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, this time we're going to the left, to the left, so we're moving it. One, two, three, four, five. So that equals 22 kilometers. And now you'll be able to do the assignment that's written and the My Math Lab assignment on this particular lesson. Good luck and ask questions if you need to.